Hello, here is a random video on a random topic no one else is interested in it other than me. I did a video on those Pokemon cards that I got were fake, the whole thing behind it, but some of you I get the feeling wanted a closer look, so I'm going to do that for you. I hope you guys enjoy, like, sub, do the usual, and uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Here we go, you guys wanted a closer look. These are some of the cards that I got ripped off with. You guys know the story, I'll link that video below. But here they are. And uh, I'm not going to show you them all, but I think you can see the fact that these are fake. Like, I think the... If you could feel these, they feel really weird. But you can see like the hollow pattern through them. In fairness, some of them look really cool. But then you get non-holographic... Well, holographic ones that weren't hollow. And they're really not centered well. <laughs> but they're really um, just fake cards. I mean, there they are. And these were never hollow to start with, by the way. That's the whole thing with these cards. These were never hollow to start with, some of these. Kind of wish some of them were, though, because... I mean, look at that. I don't know what to do with these. Like, I have a box of them. And I might do an art project or something. Shiny Farfetch'd. Who remembers trading uh, Farfetch'd in Vermilion City in Pokemon Red and Blue for a Spearow? And never using it again. <laughs> but yeah, these were um, really strange. Like, the box looked... Completely accurate. Shiny Caterpie! Anyone wants one? You can actually just see like the shine underneath the card, but yeah, I mean, this box looked completely normal. And then you got Seal here, who's missing his tail, which I think that's hilarious. Although. <sighs> Am I the one who wishes, like, the original base set Beedrill was, like, holographic? Because I think that's cool. But, yeah. Like... These are completely fake. <laughs> I wish you could fill them. Like, I really do. And th then there were random ones thrown in that, I rem that were in the Evolution set that were definitely not shiny. And, oh, by the way, the holographic pattern is completely uniform across every card. So, although I think Gyarados looks better. <laughs> but, yeah, they, I was really upset over these. I'm very lucky I got my money back, but I think you can see the patterns of these cards. Like... They were not good. <laughs> hey, who remembers Haymaker? At tournaments. I... I want to do something with these, and... I don't know what, yet, so... Just kind of... Rolling with it, and seeing what would happen. This one's hollow, but it's darker. But the other cards, despite feeling weird, you wouldn't really know. And I can imagine parents and kids getting fooled by these. They don't know the sets. <laughs> like... I mean, who wants a shiny Kakuna? Anyone. Or Hollow Weedle. Or a Tangela. Or a Sandshrew. Shiny Electrode. I always kind of wish this one was, again, a holographic card. When we were kids, we used to call them shiny cards, by the way. Just so you guys get the context. But yeah, they're, um... Like, I, I mean... <laughs> These are so fake. As you can see, these are so fake. Another Tangular. Shiny Magikarp. 
which made me laugh my head off. This also came with the free starter cards, which I actually have in a frame because I look cool in my office. So, Mewtwo, obviously, Nine Tails, one of my favorites. Pikachu and Polygraph. But yeah, these are the fake cards. You guys wanted a closer look. There they are. And all their very plasticky glory. But you would never have known this set was fake. Packaging everything. There we go, the fake Pokemon cards. At least I got my money back, but what do I do with these? Like, I want to do something with them, but I don't know what. Although, Seal missing his tail, I don't think I'm going to be doing much with. <laughs> there they are. Like I said at the beginning, like, sub, subscribe, tell me what you think in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys soon.